Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to create cross pipe connection using surfaces in millimeters, grams, and seconds. Let's start by inserting sketch on right plate. And I'm going to drop circle here, smart dimension. And let's make it about 50 millimeters. Accept. And go to Surfaces tab. If you don't have Surfaces tab, right click. And on the tab, select Surface. And go to Surface Extrude. Let's make it 120 millimeters. And I'm going to use Mid Plane Extrude and click accept right click on front plane insert sketch right click and select normal tool circles tool and i'm going to drop second circle here now select this edge and control select circle add tangent relation sketch is fully defined Let's exit the sketch. X surface extrude 120 millimeters just fine. Mid plane extrusion and click accept. And let's create one more sketch. Right click, sketch, right click, normal to center point rectangle, snap this to origin point and it's going to be something like that. Click Accept. Next here, I'm going to split lines of rectangular. And later on in this tutorial, it will be obvious why. Let's go into Sketch tool and select Split Entities. And I'm going to split all four lines. Something like that. And control select all of these lines. And this one add equal relation. Control select these four lines. And add equal relation as well. And lastly, let's apply dimension. I'm going to make it, let's say, 65 millimeters. Click Accept. And lastly, here, let's dimension small line. Let's make it, let's say, 15 millimeters. Click Accept. Sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Next, here, I'm going to use Trim Surface tool and I'm going to cut mid section of pipes out. Sketch already pre selected, trim surface and sections to keep. I'm going to keep these four sections. Click accept and let's go to isometric view. Deselect everything. Now, when I drag my mouse over edge of cylinders, you can see edge of cylinders split in four different segments. This will help us at next step when we're going to create lofted surface. Select this edge and I'm going to select this edge of cylinder. Now, if I select this edge on opposite side, I don't have preview reason for this because my handle is cross-connected. Now we have preview. And let's add tangencies and accept. Let's create few more. I'm going to select this edge. If you wasn't not able to select right edge, right click, select other. And I'm going to select this edge. 
SolidWorks calculated location of handle automatically. Let's also add tangencies and accept. Deselect everything and select this edge and this one. Tangent and tangent again. Click accept. And last one here. Select this edge and this edge. We have preview. Let's add tangencies and click accept. Next here we need fill sides. I'm going to use fill surface tool. And I'm going to select these edges. And here, last one. We see preview. If you're not able to see preview, select show preview options. And click accept. Let's do same on another side. And last one. So we can see preview. So everything fine. Click accept. We have now 10 separate surfaces. So basically what we need to do, we need to knit them together. I'm going to activate knit surface tool. And I'm going to select everything. And click accept. Now we have single surface and I can use thicken tool to create solid. Let's make it one millimeter. Preview indicates solid work will able to calculate solid. And here we have finished cross pipe connection. Second example, when one of the pipe is small diameter, let's right click, edit the sketch and let's make it, for example, 25 millimeters. Click accept, exit the go to edit and rebuild if you need to and everything work just fine. Now let's see how we can create funnel shape connection between these two parts. Let's right click and delete. First here I need to do two things. Cut bigger hole in bigger pipe and cut off smaller pipe. To make shape of the hole I'm going to use offset tool. Select surface 10 millimeters going to be fine be sure it's going in right direction and click accept now let's use trim surface to cut the hole trim tool here going to be surface offset and sections to keep this one and click ok now let's right click and hide surface offset in order to cut smaller pipe, I'm going to use plane. Since I already have plane one here, I'm going to offset second plane from plane one. Preselect plane one, go to insert, reference geometry, plane. And let's figure out offset distance. I would say 80 millimeters should be just fine. Again, trim surface tool, plane two already preselected, and sections to keep. Click accept. Let's right click and hide plane two. 
and let's use lofted surface tool select this edge and this edge adjust handles if needed looks fine and click accept let's knit all of these surfaces together and click accept and lastly let's convert resulting solid surface to solid let's make it one millimeters tap to accept and click ok now let's see how we can make y type of connection of pipes in easy way let's start by inserting sketch 50 millimeters circle accept exit the sketch extrude and let's make it let's say 120 millimeters and accept in this example i'm going to use circular pattern tool so in order to do it i need to have axis let's drop line here exit the sketch and let's go to circular pattern tool first i need select axis and features to pattern let's reverse direction and let's change angle maybe to 30 degrees tap to register instance to skip i'm going to select instance i'm going to skip and this one and let's add a couple of more instance and let's isometric view and let's use shell tool it's going to be one millimeter wall thickness and faces to remove show preview and click accept and here we have example y pipe connections let's change angle right click edit future and let's change also instance to skip now we're going to end up with error message let's see how we can fix it reason for it because this new face and let's replace it delete and I'm going to use this face and now everything will work fine and it's of course a lot more way to do this in solid work